Hey guys, my name is Álvaro Ribeiro and I'm a 3D artist. Hi, my name is Márcia Georgina, I'm a painter. Together we created this awesome mini here at Luft. This is a very classic character in their RPG games, the Tavern Keeper. I tried to make him very detailed, but working as a 70mm miniature and as a 35mm as well. That is the most usual scale for RPG players. In this video, you will see the whole sculpting and painting process, so let's go! To scoop the Tavern Keeper, I'm using the software called ZBrush. I could have started with a sphere or a simple shape, but it would have taken much longer. So to save some time, I'm using a basic human body that I have already scooped. I'm trying to make him very badass, so I gave him this huge mustache and an eye patch. Now he has his tavern, but once he was a great warrior. He has been to great wars, so because of that he's very muscular, he has some scars, and now he's not fighting anymore, maybe he took an arrow to his knee. Many minis look very cartoonish, with big heads, big eyes, but I like to make my work more realistic. So you can see he has very realistic proportion, muscles, and I also scooped in the clothes with very real folds. As you can see, the character is very detailed. I'm not trying to make him the spotlight of the tower, but he deserves some accessories. Now I'm putting some color on him, but this is just a reference. As you may know, the regular 3D printers don't print in colors. In this video, you will see Marcia doing all the paint job. I gave her total freedom to choose the colors. But I think giving just a basic color will help her. Here you can see the Tavern Keeper with his classic pose cleaning a mug, with his suspicious eyes, I mean eye. At the end I thought that it was missing something, so I sculpted a badass cleaver for him. This way he can defend himself and chop some meat. For final touches I just added some small details to his clothes, like wear and seams. So this is the final result. As a base, I created a simple tavern floor with some bottles. Now, after we 3D print it, Marcia will start the painting. Hi guys, Marcia here. I'm going to show you the painting process of this tavern keeper mini. First, the main color of each part, the base coat. I chose red for a shirt. I use acrylic paints and to dilute them, I add the paint a mixture of isopropyl alcohol with water in a 1 to 1 ratio. I'm applying a thicker layer but fluid so that it's able to cover the primer to have a good coverage. This piece has 70mm, we printed another 35mm one, that I'm painting at the same time. But for the filming, I'm focusing on showing the 70mm one.
I will now make a grayish blue for the pants. I mix it gray with blue. I put ochre on the apron, but I found the stone very yellow and decide to make another one more closed. It will even be better to change the straps to another color to make it more interesting. Just wait for it to dry and I apply another layer with another shade of ochre, a little darker with more brown mixed. I will apply orange to the mug and the base floor to be the background color of the wood. Later I will add lights and shade, make them darker and with a brown touch, closer to the wood aspect. Now it's skin tone. I made a mixture of pink, brown and beige to have a tone that is the main color of the skin. Applying a greenish grey tone to the boots. And a little grey in the socks. I apply it beige on the dish towel. I have used brown on the bracelet and on the belts. Starting with a lighter shade and then applying a darker one over the top so that it looks like one letter with the light parts corresponding to wear. I chose emerald green moss green, magenta and red for the bottles. So, I finished the main color of each part, also defining the materials. Observing this image, I tried to exemplify the tones I used. Base it on these main colors and having them as a base, I make light and dark mixtures, creating tones to be the lights and shadows make the volume stand out. Each main color is in the central part. These are the colors I have used. From there, we will have the dark tones, half tones and light tones that will be present in the final result.
some light and applying a little bit of magenta on the bottle. I'm applying half tones to the skin to help intensify the volume. Doing the same in the other areas. Shirt, pants. In the wood of the base and the mug, it becomes more interesting to add yellowish tones imagining a direction of luminosity. Now, I apply with even lighter tones to add volume. Sometimes I lighten excessively and correct by making a smooth mix. With a slight darker tone and very diluted, so as not to cover the underlying color. Putting a lighter beige on the apron. To add shadows, I add colors that add depth and apply with airbrush. I use Siliput to mask the areas that I don't want to run the risk of getting dirt with paint. It takes a little more work, but I think it's worth because I avoid problems. This gives me the peace of mind to use the airbrush because I still don't master the tool and I find it's very unpredictable. I use a flue improver and isopropyl alcohol to dilute the paint for the airbrush. I started with the dark tones for the skin, very carefully coming laterally for the piece. I will apply varnish to insulate the painted part of the wood and protect it, so that I can apply the very delighted layer of dark paint and give a nice effect to the wood. In this case, I use a gloss varnish. Masking the mug to make a dark gradient from below. Now correcting some areas that have soiled dark paint.
the same process with airbrush on the paints. To help with the gradient effect, I used two dark tones on the pants and skin, the light there of which was applied closer to the mid-tone and the dark closer to the extremity. Now is the shadow on the boots, much darker from the bottom up. and the luminosity and the metal details of the mug and cleaver. This metallic paint specifically needs to be burnished to give the metallic effect. If you don't, it becomes matte. Now, illuminating the bottles and adding shadows to add volume. These are the finished tucks. A touch of wine spilled on the floor and vanish on the bottles to make it shine. So, that's it! I hope you like it! Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell! Bye bye!